In this tutorial, we're going to look at how we can use PDF documents in a website. Uh, now, there's a number of ways of doing this. I'm just going to show the way that I find um, preferable, but uh, a lot of it is personal choice. Now, what we're going to do is looking at this website, we have a an in the media section. So this PDF is a document that was published in a magazine. So we're going to add it into this page. So currently we have uh, the page with a, a, a TV advert. We're going to add our PDF document in here. But what we'll do, is we'll do it as a, a JPEG image because we don't want to fill the whole screen with the PDF document. So it'll be a, a JPEG image that links to the PDF document, which is a much cleaner way to do it. Also, because this is a current uh, article, we're going to pop it on the front page in a module position on the left here. So let's look at how we do that. First, we need to go to our uh, administration area. And in here, um, first thing we need to do is upload our PDF document and the JPEG image of that PDF. Now, the JPEG is quite small. I made it a 300 pixels wide so that it's not too big to load. So we go up to our content menu item and media. Media normally is is images, but you can do PDFs as well. I've created a folder in here called PDF. You need to remember what you call this um, if you're creating new folders because uh, you do need to type the actual path of where the PDF is in the link when we get to the next step. So I go to our PDF folder and I'm going to upload here. So go up to green button, upload, browse, and I go to our folder where I've got that stored. If I can find it. Okay, so here's our PDF and the uh, image. Notice that I have the PDF su as supplied had spaces in the name. I've always put underscores in there because uh, some web servers just don't like having spaces in the names. So I'm going to grab those two documents and upload them. You need to remember what the name is of the document that you've uploaded because um, that's going to be important later on. This is the best place to grab that from. Uh, now, this is not the full address we need, but it's the uh, the main part. So I'm just going to copy that for our next step. And you can see here, here's our JPEG image and the PDF document is here as well. So now we're going to create a, a, a page to put this in. I should have mentioned the, the media page on this website is actually a, uh, a blog style. So it's each item that goes in here is a separate article. So we're creating a new article here, which we will call end of year 2017. We come down here, I'm going to insert that JPEG image. So come down to images, click on here. Uh, this is using the um, JCE editor. If you have a different editor, your buttons may look a little bit different. I'm just going here, I go to our PDF folder, grab that image, give it a, a uh, description. And insert. So there we have our image. Um, just for this case, I'm just going to center that. Uh, after that image, I'm going to put in a read more. So when we see this on the page, we'll see the image and we'll click on the read more to get to the actual PDF document. And I'm going to embed that here. Now, I've installed a plugin called Embed PDF. You can get that from the Joomla extensions directory. It's a free extension. It just allows us to put PDFs in there as pages. So I click on Embed PDF and it's going to ask us for the path. Uh, so I'm going to, first I'm going to copy that 
path that I had there, but that's not the full path. I need all of this. Images, because it's in the images folder. So the full URL slash images slash whatever file you've created. In this case, it's PDF slash the PDF file name. And you'll see you've got this strange looking piece of code here. And uh, that's all good. So I'm just going to, oh, and I'll pop this into our media category and that will automatically put it onto that media page. So let's save that image, that uh, article. Now go to our page and refresh it. And there we have our JPEG of the PDF and hit on the read more button. And that brings up the whole of the PDF down here. That's a little bit small, so we're going to stretch that out a bit. Now by default, the uh, extension puts in a height for this uh, document to be viewed as 300. That's way too small in my opinion. So I'd like to make that a thousand. I'll save that. It will still put a scroller inside. It won't be too big. So go to the media page again. And here we see our JPEG image and we've got a read more button after it. So hit the read more button and brings up the full page with the embedded PDF file. So you can scroll down to read that whole thing. So that's quite readable. It's also downloadable and printable. Uh, and that's now an extra document that Joomla, uh, that uh, Google will index for this site as well, as well as the actual HTML page it's embedded in. The next step is for our module that we're going to put on the home page. So that's going to be in the left-hand column here. So save out of here. So we go to modules. I'm going to create a new module. It's a custom module. Uh, so let me call that uh, end of year 2017. I'm not going to show that on screen, that's just for our own reference. In here, I'm going to pop that image in again. Remember, that's in our PDF folder. Always put a, a title and description because that's what Google sees. Google doesn't see the image itself. That is going to be in position on this template. Position seven and menu assignment will be only on the pages selected. Clear all of that and make it home. Save that. We go to our home director, our home page again, refresh that. And there we have our image, but it doesn't link to anything. So I come back to the image. I'm going to highlight that. We're going to create a link for this. And we'll link that back to the media page. And there it is. We're done. We have our linked image on the front page that we can now click on, which takes us straight to our media page where we can see the image, read more if we want to see more on that uh, document, and there it is 
we can scroll down, read through it, we can print it, we can download it, uh, we can even blow it up into a larger image if we have trouble reading, if your eyes are as getting as old as mine. And there we have how we handle PDF documents quickly and easily in a Joomla website.